welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about this diaper bag, a quick review of it, and of course what we have in it. This diaper bag is a skip hop messenger style. I really like the Skip Hop brand. If you check out their website, it's really well put together and it totally wrapped me in. When I purchased this bag with something kind of small, something that didn't necessarily look like a, like a girly diaper bag. I was hoping that my husband would also carry it sometimes. I was given this small diaper bag as a gift, also from Skip Hop, and I really like it. it when This is more for our short outings, and if I need the big heavy duty bag, this one comes along with us. Before filming, I did a quick just check to make sure I had everything I normally use to take out with us. And I might be your typical first time parent who has all of the necessary items, but I find I use everything that's in it, so it really works for me. A couple things I like about it. It's small-ish. It has a really nice shoulder pad, which of course, somebody may have lost on one of our outings, and it wasn't me, and it wasn't Esme. So one of the cool features of this diaper bag is it has stroller straps. You can see here that it has grip on one side and basically what you do is you hook it around your stroller and you simply clip in like this and it grips. So both sides have it and then when you want to release you just hit the little release button and you're good to go. When you're juggling everything and you just grab your stroller from the car it's really easy to clip it on. It has tons of pocket space. Pockets in the back, pockets on the top, pockets on the inside. It's held together with the magnet here double pockets here, and tons of space on the inside. In the back, it also has a change pad. I much prefer using my own change pad when I go to change areas. I like to bring a purse if I'm bringing a diaper bag. I just feel like a bag lady, so I tend to throw my things easy access on the top here. The top two pockets I don't normally fill with a lot of stuff. I like that the, um, the flap can actually close. Back, it has one more pocket, and in here I have a onesie in case as my needs a clothing change and I have some breast pads because nobody needs a leaky boob on the road. Flip it open you can see that it has a lot of little storage areas and it's red which I like. It does have two bottle carriers on the sides here but we don't happen to use those. Sometimes I'll throw in a bottle of water or something of my own. So I usually have three diapers. I like the number three. I carry some white and bum cream. This is just a cream you get in Malaysia, so bum cream. Now that Esme's eating solids, I'm also bringing little snacks, teething items, teething cookies in a Ziploc bag. I always bring more than one because now she's in the phase where everything ends up on the floor. We have a spoon. I don't bring homemade food out with me. It's really hot here and I worry that it won't actually last in the heat, so a little meal. Because now we're eating, we do bring a bib. In fact, the other day we were out and I forgot to bring a bib. Oh, it was a bit of a nightmare. We had napkins tucked in everywhere and there was napkins in her mouth and ugh. So I highly recommend get yourself a little bib in there. We have a little pair of socks. When we're out in the malls here, it can get really cold with air conditioning. So if I have her in the carrier, I tend to slip on her little Disney princess socks. And of course, a trusty teething item, a little teething ring. Those actually go into the four compartments. There's three compartments that just have an elastic opening and then one with a zipper opening. So you can actually zip off some of the areas. I have a baby blanket. This is a wet bag. I got it online through Etsy, I think. It's quite a cute pattern. And on the inside, it has the, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it has the waterproof material. So if we have a diaper blowout, if we're out somewhere where there's no garbage handy, to throw her spoons in when she's done eating them, or if we have an outfit change, everything can go in here and not get everything else in my diaper bag gross and wet. I have a nursing cover. I, I used a lot when Esme was much smaller. You just slip it over your neck like so and hide the baby underneath. And I find though she's at this age where she does not want to be covered up. She wants to be looking out at all the action. In the front, I have two zippers. The top zipper, we have a sippy cup with some water. I bring a little face towel. We have a little pacifier. In the bottom, we have... My mother-in-law gave them to me. They're pretty cool. wipe. They look just like this, but if you wet them, um, they open up to like a towelette and you can use them to clean up gross messes and things. I try to keep it clean. I try not to overpack it full of things, but that is what is in our decor bag. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you have a skip pop of your own, let me know in the comments what you think of the brand, if you think that it's functional for you. Uh, we really seem to enjoy it right now. Bye for now.